What is up, Instagram? This is the first time touching my camera for the day. Oh my gosh, I'm so shot out. It's not even Instagram, it's YouTube, boys. It's 7.44 at night right now. And uh, my plan for the day was to edit um, yesterday's footage of the Reading Pagoda Thrash session, but I literally just went to the heart doctor in Philadelphia from three o'clock. My appointment was at 3.20. I didn't get out of there till 5.40. He talked to me that whole time because the verdict is he wants me to get heart surgery. He wants me to get an ablation procedure to eliminate my atrial fibrillation and then potentially get a second heart surgery to eliminate my PVCs and anything that was left over from the first surgery to eliminate um, my atrial fibrillation. So it's a heavy claim. That's all claim. My wife's looking way too hot right now. That's what oh I'm claiming. But I just wanted to give you guys an update because um, I want to upload every single day. I'm not going to have time to edit. I pretty much have to take a shower and then go to bed because i got to get up at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning for work. But that was the heaviest um, doctor's appointment I've probably ever been to because coming to the realization that I have to go under the knife or under whatever, they're going to like enter my heart through these two... So they go down arteries there. down here and then they come up here then they go into your left atrium and then they puncture in with a knife or like some sort of weird like pointy thing into your right atrium and then they juice me up with adrenaline get me to go into my heart problem which is atrial fibrillation so when my heart is going crazy he's going to take a little laser thing or I'm not sure what they do and then they burn it so they're going to burn my heart in all the spots that it's misfiring and um, fence it in. That's what they call it. So, I don't know. I'm pretty heavy feeling about it. What do you think? That's, yeah, it's heavy, but it could also really improve your quality of life, not having to worry about how your heart is always bothering you. It could improve my quality of life, or the other side of it is it could throw me into a huge stroke, which is small risk, but big risk in my head. And then I will just be attacked by my biggest fear, really. But speaking of which, I gotta go into the bathroom right now and take my heart medicine. Um, so it's crazy because this heart problem has been the biggest gift ever to me in one aspect of my life but a complete nightmare in the other the nightmare is it's scary to live with a heart condition because you never know what's gonna um, happen really but the other side of it is it's really taught me to take life by the horns and just really get out there and do what I want really follow my dreams and really push my passions and really just try and not be scared of, of life because I never really know what's going to happen in my life because my heart could always be acting crazy so yeah I pretty much just wanted to film this little bit upload it for you guys and uh, just let you know what happened today and uh, let you in on another part of my life and then tomorrow I'm going to edit the awesome footage of uh, the Pagoda event tons of falls, tons of crazy skating, drift trekking Huge event, Bentley Skate Shop was there, Sector 9, tons of I stuff went birthday. down. Yeah, Naomi's birthday, I was getting to that, dude. You, you never let me build any hype. Naomi's birthday is the most important thing. Yeah, that's what I, that was why I was gonna be at the end. Like, bam, Naomi turned oh, one. Naomi's birthday at the very end. <laughs> oh my gosh, no matter what I do around here, guys, I just, <sighs> it's crazy, so. I'm going to sign out for the night, guys. Uh, I just want to say thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for making this year really awesome so far, the nine months that we've been going together, that you've been a part of my life every single day. And, um, yeah, I couldn't be more appreciative of the support. And this vlog's been pretty crazy, to be honest. Uh, it's changed my life. It's made me reflect on a lot of things. Like, Because usually you just live life. <laughs> Just, just running through it and then every single day I run through life and then I get to edit and look back and watch the vlog sometimes and then people bring stuff up about my life and it's crazy because it's, it's it allows me to reflect on my life and really see what I want to change. It's like almost like critiquing a piece of art in a way. You're like critiquing your own life. So 
This year's been a big come up for me. Uh, I really think it's really saved me in a way. Been saved by a lot of things this year. I mean, it means I have a purpose here in life. I don't know, I'm just rambling on, but I'm out of here for the night. What? Who saved who? Who saved who though? That is the question. Who saved who? You have to think about that. Like when you give, I'm gonna, this is the last thing I'm gonna say for the night. Say a bum's asking you for money on the street and you give him money and you think to yourself, oh man, I just hooked that guy up. I gave him some money, now he can eat or something. The true question in a situation like that is who saved who? Was it better for that guy to get the money or was it better for you to give the guy the money for yourself to make you reflect upon yourself? Um, and, you know, who saved too kind of thing. So, peace out. I'll see you boys tomorrow. Thanks for all the support. You!